Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'll be discussing the carbon filter in my water purification board. The 10 inch blue housing on the left side is my carbon filter. In previous videos I talked about wanting to get a carbon filter for this unit that did not reduce my pressure drastically. Well I found one and it's also refillable so it makes it very inexpensive to use. I'm going to take this out and put this in better light and explain a little bit more about this filter and what it does and uh, how it's worked for me. Here's the carbon filter removed from the water purification board. As you can see it's just a hollow container. There's a rubber washer on top. Mine actually didn't come with it so I have a little homemade one. You can see my homemade rubber washer here. I'm not sure why it didn't come with this particular product. I was disappointed to see that it didn't come with one but really not a big deal. I just made one. I know next time to, to be sure to tell them make sure that's in the box. Okay what I've done now is remove the lid from the carbon filter. I also spilled a little bit of carbon right there beside the lid so you can see what it looks like. And the bag on the ground is the big bag I bought to refill this container. Uh, you can buy this in bulk. I believe, I'm guessing because I don't remember the exact weight, but I believe that's about a 20 pound bag. And I believe it's about four to five dollars a pound for the carbon. I'll post the link below where I purchased this and you can check there for the exact prices. Okay, what you'll see me doing here is refilling this carbon filter cartridge. That is the bottom that you see me grabbing there. There is a, it's like a fine mesh a little filter that goes there on the bottom. <clears throat> then the lid here that goes on top. There is an indicator on the cartridge that shows you which way the flow uh, is, is supposed to go. So it shows there it's pointing the flow goes down that way. So the lid is on the top allowing the flow to go down. As you watch me refill this uh, carbon cartridge, I'll talk a little bit about uh, what carbon filtering is used for. Uh, carbon is used to remove contaminants and impurities using chemical absorption. Uh, they're most effective in removing chlorine, sediment, volatile organic compounds, or also known as VOCs, and taste and odor from water. One thing to note is that this carbon filter is not effective in removing minerals, salts, and dissolved inorganic compounds. One common question that I receive is how often should I change out the carbon in my carbon cartridge? The simple answer to that is if you notice any changes in your water then it's probably ready to change the carbon. Um, so whatever you got your carbon for, let's say it is odor, if that odor returns, then it's very obvious, hey, it's, it's time to check your filters and change that out. Otherwise, I change this carbon once a month, regardless if it needs it or not. After I refill my carbon cartridge and reinstall it, I take off my 20-inch bag filter and I let the water run for a minute or two to just clean out the carbon and to make sure that there's no loose sediment or anything that'll be being pushed through my filter or dirty up my filter anymore. So I just do this, let it run for a minute or two, and then after that, I hook back up the bag filter and I'm ready to go. Thank you all for watching. Please like and share my videos if this was helpful, and subscribe to my channel if you would like more updates on rainwater harvesting and water purification. Have a great day.